hi guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm going to be filming a everyday makeup look that i do almost every day if i'm going to work or if i'm going to church this is what i do every day so if you want to know how to get this look just keep on watching Okay guys, so I'm starting with a fresh face. I already did my eyebrows off camera because I have an eyebrow tutorial posted. It was my first video. And I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And I love this stuff. It's one of my favorite primers because it just feels so nice on my skin. And it really does make my foundation look flawless when I put this on. I really see a big difference when I put this on. Next, I'm putting on my professional my benefit professional and this is just really good for hiding my pores like look at that oh it's my holy grail I love it love it now I'm gonna be applying my Maybelline fit me foundation I love it love it love it <laughs> I love it a lot and I'm just really sad that this doesn't have a pump if it had a pump this would be rated probably like a 1 million out of 10 because um, it's just really hard to like keep it from like all coming out you know and I like to apply my foundation with a flat brush I believe it's a flat yeah flat brush and this is better than applying it with my fingers cuz I just hated when it got all over my fingers and made my clothes dirty when I touch shit so this is the best way for me to just apply the foundation to my face and I just apply it whichever way it doesn't really matter just make sure it's even on my face I'm using my Morphe E6 brush. I love this. It's a really good brush for buffing out my foundation on my face. It's amazing. <laughs> now, my favorite concealer that I'm running out of that I really need to get a new one. It's really cheap, so I'm probably going to stock up and get like five or six, to be honest. And this is in the shade Toffee. And this is my favorite concealer. Like, I love it. Like, I don't really experience any creasing. It lasts all day. It's just an amazing concealer. And I really suggest you get it. It's so cheap. Like, it's a win-win, to be honest. And I just apply this to like, the highlights of my face. Oh, please excuse my beauty blender. It's really dirty. I didn't clean it before this because I used my beauty blender earlier that day and I didn't clean it because I didn't have time because the sun was setting so I was like you know what forget it I'm just gonna film don't judge me we all have be dirty beauty sponges whatever you want to call it <laughs> and make sure you blend this out really well because if you take a picture and it's not blended out ooh, girl it's not gonna be a good picture. <laughs> Gemini, of course. My Laura Mercier translucent powder is my favorite translucent powder with my makeup sponge. It just applies so well with the makeup sponge. It's just easy to get into like the little corners and Oh my god. I'm so crazy. <laughs> What I like to do first is apply it to the places that I highlighted my face first before I crease. I make sure that I apply it there and bake my face so that, because this is where I get the most oily, so I just really make sure to apply a lot there because I get really, really oily. Jam it out again. I wonder what I was listening to. Now I'm going to take my Morphe 350. I love this so much. It's my favorite palette because it's just so versatile, you know? But before I apply my eyeshadow, I like to put a... I like to put the translucent powder over my eyeshadow so it doesn't mix with the concealer. Because I use the concealer as an eye primer for the base. For my eyeshadow and I just put the Laura Mercier over my eyelid so that it just the um, the eyeshadow doesn't get caught in between the creases and look at my nose it's literally sucking in the translucent powder because 
Oh, I don't even know. My nose just gets so oily, I don't know why. If you have anything, like any tips for like really oily noses, please leave them in the comments because I don't know what to do anymore. It just gets so oily. I'm just buffing out the concealer. I mean, the powder. <laughs> It does look ashy at first, but after wearing it for a couple, maybe 10 minutes, 20 minutes, it goes away, so I just love it. Oh, and I love my palette. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh my god, I'm literally crazy. But I'm using a blending, only one brush for this whole eye look. One brush. Keeping it simple. And I'm using the color on the far left, not that color, the, the one all the way on the left. And that's just going to be my transition color, just as a base for the colors I'm going to be putting on. It's just going to act as like a clean little slate for me. I just love this brush, to be honest. I don't know. I just, it's so versatile. Like I just use it for everything and it just makes it look, look so good. I don't know. And then I'm going to use this shade and this is going to go in my crease. Tap off the excess. And this is going to act as a transition color for my... really hard on my eye. My eye is just really wrinkly. I promise. I wasn't doing it really hard. And then I'm going to take that color and deepen up the crease a little more. And then I'm going to take this orangey shade tap off the excess and just put this all over my lid and my crease just everywhere blend it all together just to brighten up my eyes blending all the colors together blending the way Now I'm going to take my NYX contour palette with my Sephora brush. It's like duo sided with a angled side and a blush side. I really don't know. Yeah, it's really old. I got it from my mom and I've just been using it. This is like my first makeup brush and I used to use this to do my foundation. Yes, I used to use this to do my foundation. But I'm just contouring my cheekbones a little bit. I'm not putting too much product on the brush, but I just cheeks are really sucked in, you know. <laughs> Lightly, lazily contouring my nose. A little bit on my forehead, barely. I don't even know why I did that because it was barely the brush. Now I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier and make my clean up the size of my eye to make it look sharp on the edges nice and clean and sharp i got this from jacqueline hill this cool tip so sharing it with you guys <laughs> and then i'm gonna put that i mean the translucent powder underneath my contour just to make it look more defined. And then brushing it away. See that makes it look nice. 
basically Now I'm gonna take my Too Faced Heart. Love this stuff. It's my one of my favorites. It, I've used this brush all. I mean this blush all summer, and it just it has a nice pink, like a subtle pink, and like a nice glow in it. Like I don't even wear a highlighter. I just wear that, and it's just so beautiful. And I'm using my Chanel mascara. Shout out to Terry May again for getting me this. And I love it so much. It's such a good mascara. It's a little pricey, but it's it's awesome. Like it's really good. I'm gonna buy it again. Like forget Maybelline. Like this is all the way. Chanel all the way. So here I'm gonna go from looking like an 11 year old boy to actually looking like I have eyelashes. And it's really, <laughs> love this stuff. It's really important for you to put it on your bottom eyelashes because it really opens up your eyes. And last step, I'm gonna just put some lip gloss on my lips. Gloss them up. Don't forget to like and thumbs up. Hope you guys enjoyed watching my second video. Actually, I really like this look. It's just so simple but it's like nice it's like a glam like a um what's the word? a soft glam okay guys thanks for watching see you next time